video or on YouTube? No problem. Okay. Uh, the Argan oil, it's like uh, something famous in Morocco. You can find it only in Morocco. Uh, the tree of Argan is only in the in one city called Agadir, near, near yeah, Agadir. Agadir. So you cannot find it if you go in the whole world. Okay? Argan. There is two kinds of Argan. You know, the nut of Argan, if it was real, to give us the, this one to eat. If it's not real, pure, it gives us for cosmetic. Oh. Okay? So, generally, Argan is rich on omega 9, omega 6, omega 3, vitamin, er, vitamin E, yeah. and antioxidants. Yeah. So, he helps the circulation of blood. Also, he's good for skin, for hair. And also, like he gives you a lot of energy. Like when we eat it in the morning, it, you feel full without eating too much. That's what I did this morning. Yeah, it's really good. So you will feel like you will not feel tired without eating too much. Okay. I wanted you to know I started studying argan oil from California in two, the year 2003. Mm -hmm. But I didn't come to Morocco like I wanted to. I went to Egypt and I could not find it in Egypt. You cannot find it because Ergen is something like Indigenous. only Morocco have it. Also, like if you go far from Agadir, also they cannot have it. So they, this place, who calls Ergena, is the only place who has Ergen. You know, and uh, like, can I say that? Because like this is so um, important for me because the people have Ergen. It's the people who work a lot. They will, will wake up all early. Right. They go like uh, they all the day. They work. They go to the mountains. So for me, it's something special to like. Also, the weather is not good. They all always hand dry. Ah, right. Yeah. So how uh, it's good to to, to know like uh, people have yeah. this. They all this, but. They have this to fix all this uh, the problem. How when when is the season for harvest? Uh, it's always always yeah it's perennial because yeah, it bears fruit all the time. Because like the season exactly, I really don't know. Only the people who make it, the the, the arrogant people who know like how and uh, the, this like detail. So do you know that Taylor Swift, the singer, yeah. you know Taylor Swift? I know Taylor Swift. She is a big fan of argan oil. <laughs> like her? Um, I, I like Selena Gomez. Selena Gomez. Yeah, I know okay. Tyler from her. Mm -hmm. So, we, uh, now I will give you the eucalyptus honey. The eucalyptus honey also is good. We use it for the pollen allergy. <laughs> Uh, is that local also? Also local. All the products I give you, it's local. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I know the peanut butter is yeah. yours, mm -hmm. but... It's not mine. <laughs> it's, uh, it's the... In, in, like, in, uh, in the United States, you mean? Yeah, United States. Yeah, I did not grow up there. It's a lot, but yeah. we have another... Our version is not... Okay, it's not the asal? It's the asal. It's the asal. I give you the eucalyptus honey or yes, no? Yes, So with 40% <coughs> of ergan, 10% of the pure honey, we make the amla. Amla. Yeah. So oh. now, I need you to do your first try. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now you will taste. And I will make a hajar bohar. Ah, daba. This is what I had this morning. And I, mm. believe me, I had food poisoning for two and a half days, yeah. so I didn't eat for 36 hours. Mm -hmm. This morning, mm -hmm. my first mm -hmm. meal was I give you more. was amalu, mm -hmm. and it kept me going all day long. I felt uh, my wife called and said, "Do you feel okay?" I said, "I ate amalu. I feel great." You're no, absolutely because, right. Because the amalu also, you see, like you can eat it in the place of a big plate. You have all proteins from the from the almond. You have the the benefit of the honey. You have the, I don't know, the mineral, the anti-inflammatory, everything. And also you have the omega from it. So it's a mix of good things. So here's my final question for you. Yeah. When I started my research, yeah. which I hope to do next year, mm -hmm. I learned that in the north, between here and Rabat, you have a woman whose name is Suhad Azanur. Azanud, so had Azanud, and she is doing pistachio harvesting, traditional pistachios like my grandmother's family mm -hmm. did in Lebanon, because we're from Lebanon originally. Mm -hmm. 
I visited the plantation as a child. She says that the pistachio uses less water than almond, has more protein, is like meat. And if you do an amalu from pistachio, honey, and argan, you have the perfect food, a superfood. Um, so this maybe can, this mm -hmm. is like what did you say, just, but like for me, uh, for all the Moroccan food, maybe if you try this mix, it will be good. But like, you know, the tradition is mm -hmm. the tradition. Okay. Everyone knows uh, amino like from almond, ergan, and, uh, and honey. pure honey. Okay. okay. So maybe if you change like a little bit, it's not anymore the, uh, you know what I mean? Yes, I see what you're saying, so right. So maybe like for people who want to eat good, maybe we can try this mix if you want to try something different. But like for us, the amino is something like so value. Yeah. It's, uh, it's from the lot of years we know. Taklidi. Uh, yeah, taklidi. Uh -huh. Taklidi. You know, like the tea. When when we cannot drink tea without sugar. Yeah. Because for us, tea, tea, sugar, and mint. If you take one of them, we cannot drink it. It's not tea for us. You know. Right. This is when you when you take a little bit something warm, you you can. That's you right. So the last thing, and maybe yeah. this is you want to know. Yeah. This is something you, I think, do you know the cactus honey? Yes. You know. From Nopal. No. Oh, Nopal is the Mexican word for it. You call it no. sabat. Sabat, sabat. Sabat. But like this is cactus like again. It's only in Morocco. I know you know the euphorbia honey. Yes. You know the euphorbia. Euphorbia, right. It's not a cactus. Cactus is cactaceae. No, 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 no. You're euphorbiaceae. Yes. Wait. But the euphorbia you have, it's not the same. Ah, okay. We have a cactus. Okay. This big cactus I will show you after with one flower. And this cactus is medicinal. So this honey is more value than amlu and everything. Because like you, you can find it in every Moroccan house. We use it when we are sick. We use it for the asthma allergy, uh -huh. for the cardiovascular hypertension, and also for all the malady of cold. Okay. So now I want you to be ready to try something for the okay. first time. Okay. This never you will find this also in another place because only the Moroccan have it. Mm -hmm. Moroccan use it. As a as a mother of two, mm. this is what I give to my children when they are sick. Cactus honey. Oh yeah, I like the taste of that. Yeah. What do you think, Ava? Honey. Mm. So this is all what we have. Um, this is uh, the Moroccan like local product. I hope I explain it beautifully. Beautifully. So and you can say hi to the students of the University of South Florida. Hi. <laughs> I'm also a student. I do like some study of uh, teacher of like little babies. Mm -hmm. I work and I have six children. Marvelous. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. But I say okay. hi from Morocco and I hope all all your students, one day they come and visit us, they, uh, they can try our amino and our flag. Inshallah, shukran.